Materialism is the desire of some individuals to acquire and consume excessive amounts of material goods. Conspicuous consumption is a similar concept, except the goal is to show off one's wealth in an overt way. Materialism and conspicuous consumption often go hand in hand. That is, somebody who likes buying lots of expensive goods often enjoys publicly displaying those goods. Chinese consumerism. A few decades ago, Chinese were extremely frugal. Very few people owned cars, as most rode bicycles. It wasn't unheard of people being attacked if they were went around showing off their wealth. Fast forward to today, and now China has overtaken the US as the world's largest car market. Private schoolgirls no longer want normal shoes, but the latest designer ones. I know this for a fact, because one of my wife's relations is desperately seeking the newest, most expensive shoes one can buy. It's not just her. All her classmates are stomping around in the latest Gucci or Buscemi shoes. At around $1,500 a pair, one must wonder who needs such an obviously overpriced item. It is theorized that China's one-child policy, which recently became a two-child policy, has had a huge negative impact on the attitudes of young Chinese. Many children have been raised in families that have spoilt them rotten. While I was working over in Beijing as a private kindergarten teacher, one of my students' parents invited me over to their home a few times. I soon realized how much they were spoiling their three-year-old son. Any toy he wanted, they bought. Any food he wanted to eat, they provided. And it wasn't just them. The boy's extended family did the same. He literally had a single room almost filled with toys. I could tell the parents felt a little bit embarrassed by it, but they still allowed it to happen. Obviously, any child who is raised in an environment where everyone around them is doing everything possible to satisfy their every desire, then that child is going to think that they are king shit. I saw it at the kindergarten. Kids treated other kids with contempt. I also saw the parents every morning dressed up in their latest designer gear, trying to show off to the other parents. It was a sad state of affairs. Reasons for materialism and displays of wealth. Capitalism. Obviously, our whole economic system relies on people buying stuff they don't need. This is achieved in a number of ways, from extensive advertising and marketing campaigns, as was seen with diamonds and jewellery, to underhand tactics such as planned obsolescence. It's terrible for the environment, but as long as we keep our current form of capitalism, greedy companies will continue to convince us to buy shit we don't need. Social status. Some of us see owning stuff as a way to increase our social status. In places like China, fine wines are bought purely to impress business associates. The government even had to crack down on extravagant displays of wealth by forcing government workers not to buy top-of-the-line baijiu, Chinese white liquor. Some of us think that buying a Lexus is going to impress other people. I think it makes you look like a dick. Self-worth. For whatever reason, some people think that they have to prove to others that they are a success by showing them how much they own. This is one of the reasons I quit using Facebook, at least my personal account. It started to get on my nerves that every second person was putting up a picture of their new car or house, basically saying, look at me, I have a new car, do you feel envious of me? Aggressive ostentation. This is a theory by the American journalist Dick Meyer who stated that aggressive ostentation is a form of antisocial behavior that occurs as a result of people feeling like they have become anonymous within their societies. In the past, the blacksmith of a village was well known and respected, but now most people feel like they are nobodies in their communities. By buying and displaying lots of material goods, they get attention, even if it's not of the good kind. Happiness. Although most of us probably know that happiness gained from buying stuff is fleeting, many people still do it in the vain hope that they will become happy. It's an illusion that was probably introduced to us by the large advertising companies. Just look at any Coca-Cola ad. Happy faces and pretty people all around. Downside of materialism. Income inequality. High levels of conspicuous consumption almost certainly indicates a larger social problem of income in inequality. Obviously not every child in China is prancing around in Buscemi shoes, probably only the top 0.4%. Any society that that allows such inequality will eventually fail or suffer a major restructuring. If the majority of people of a society are poor, 
and they're constantly seeing rich people ponce around in their latest designer gear, then eventually they're going to get angry and take revenge. It's happened hundreds of times throughout history. Don't doubt the will of a person who has nothing. Zero sum game. When a person buys something to try to increase their social status, they in turn reduce the social status of other people around them. Other people then have to go out and purchase more things in order to keep up, consequently forcing the original person to go out and purchase more in order to stay on top. It's much like an arms race where countries have to keep on increasing their military budgets in order to keep up with their neighbours. It actually doesn't benefit anyone and is bad for society. Low self-esteem. The people I've met who I would classify as suffering from materialism almost certainly have low self-esteem. I don't blame them. It's almost definitely a result of their upbringing. Parents have got to instill the right values into their children. If we are constantly buying our children everything they desire at the drop of a hat, they will never learn some of life's most important lessons like patience, hard work and earning what you get. We should be striving for a society that teaches our children to help one another. Instead of teaching them that material wealth is good, we should be showing them how to share and care for one another. What's the point of owning a Rolls Royce if it's only going to distance you from the rest of society? Materialism and conspicuous consumption doesn't benefit society. It only creates a generation of greedy, self-centered individuals who care little for the normal person. We should all be fighting against this new norm. I'd like to finish with a few quotes. If everyone demanded peace instead of another television set, then there'd be peace. John Lennon. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate, so we can buy shit we don't need. The things you own end up owning you. It's only after you lose everything that you're free to do anything. Chuck Palahniuk, Fight Club. The world says, you have needs, satisfy them. You have as much right as the rich and the mighty. Don't hesitate to satisfy your needs. Indeed, expand your needs and demand more. This is the worldly doctrine of today, and they believe that this is freedom. The result for the rich is isolation and suicide, for the poor, envy and murder. Fyodor Dostoevsky, The Brothers Karamazov.